Wipe out your opponents with the Selenko Whiteout 305. Having created some of our favorite strings on the market, Selenko introduces a racket serious players will want to check out. With a focus on controlled power and feel, the Whiteout features a 98 square inch head, a 16 by 19 string pattern, and traditional straight beam. Liquid crystal technology helps reduce harsh vibrations while the foam technology in the head provides stability and a dampened feel. Complete with add-on weight modules for the butt cap, we think this racket is an ideal option for experienced competitors. As I mentioned in our first look video, the Whiteout stood out to me as a racket that I would gravitate towards. So I was really excited that I got to do a full plates test with this racket. It is the heavier weighted racket. It does have that smaller head size. And the feel was amazing for me. It feels comfortably firm, a little bit of a muted feel at contact as well, but I felt very dialed in. The sweet spot felt large and forgiving, and I felt really connected to my shots, really pinpoint accurate from the baseline and especially at net. It was very stable for its weight. I felt even against the biggest hitters I was playing against in doubles and in singles, I could pick my targets out really well and execute my shots. My favorite spot to use this racket was on the return because it just has that perfect blend of controllable power. So when I was returning against big first serves, I could block balls back. But when I had the opportunity to step up against weaker second serves, I really could blast the ball and get started in an offensive way. Um, this racket really allowed me to go from offense to defense and back again consistently. And I do want to mention, I love that Slinko is offering a weighted butt cap. I personally prefer adding weight to the tip of the racket. So it was quite noticeable when we did add in those extra weights in the butt. Definitely a really cool feature that they are offering to set themselves apart. To answer your questions, yes, uh, Selenko made the transition from a top tier string brand uh, and with a lot of research and development they have come up with a quality product in this Whiteout 305. Um, from the baseline it was super versatile, I could find plenty of topspin with the 1619 nice open pattern, uh, but for me the surprise was how well I could hit a flat shot, um, something I usually do with a closed pattern racket. Uh, I found myself especially off the backhand wing hitting a nice controlled flat backhand with this. Um, then moving up to net, it was something that was nice and comfortable and it had enough mass to really put the ball deep in the court. Uh, if I wanted to drop a ball short and find the open court, um, loosen the grip a little bit and the mass of the racket stayed nice and stable. On serve, just like ground strokes, I tended to flatten out my shots a little more than I normally do. Um, going up the tee as well as to the body were super effective on first serve. Uh, and you guys have heard me say it before, but slice out wide on a second serve, try to pull my opponent off the court. Um, that one-two punch to get myself a forehand off that return uh, was really successful with this racket. Um, so the next time you're looking to demo uh, a racket like a Blade 98 or a Pure Strike 98, this fits right into the category. It's a really quality frame, uh, and I think Selenko did a really nice job. Very excited to be named to this play test for the Selenko Whiteout. Overall, just a great racket, another addition to the 98305 category, which is getting heavily populated with a lot of high quality examples. This one really made a lot of sense to my game, and on paper, it just, it plays the way it looks. You know, with a, a 21.7 millimeter beam width, that's really close to a pro staff. It feels firm, very even tempered. The string spacing is a 16, 19, but I'm still able to keep my backhand slice low and start, kind of shape my shots with a lot of spin. Overall, you know, this racket is gonna be great, very ripe for modification. Oh yeah, Selenko's gonna add in the butt caps, uh, the trap doors that Michelle mentioned, and you can really modify this racket noticeably without having to tinker with that any lead or any uh, extensive modification required. Great idea that way. Uh, but overall, you know, I'm definitely a play tester by, uh, by trade here. You're not gonna hire me to forecast hurricanes, but I'm definitely gonna forecast that the whiteout is gonna be a top seller, great frame for anyone looking for this 305 98 category. I enjoyed playtesting this Selenko Whiteout 305. Um, I recall playtesting some of the, or the early Selenko rackets way back in the day with the Protocol and the Tour 10, and I think uh, these rackets that they're releasing right now, especially this Whiteout, is a much refined, really nice feeling frame. Um, for me, uh, some standout features. Love the open pattern with the 1619, and it actually is uh, spaced apart pretty well, kind of like maybe like a V-Core 98, so I got uh, easy launch angle, easy access to top spin, um, and a good amount of feel from the string bed. Um, as far as the stiffness goes, that's one thing that really stood out to me. So uh, the 66 stiffness rating, 
gives it a nice crisp pop to the ball when you're hitting from the ground strokes the, the ball really pops off the string bed um, so i like that but it wasn't overly stiff or jarring and i think the foam filled technology kind of like some technofiber rackets on the market uh, really gives you a nice solid and uh, slightly dampened feel kind of like what uh, michelle was kind of touching upon so really like this racket it's a little lighter than my typical spec, so I definitely would be putting on the heavier butt cap um, for a little bit more tail weight and then maybe just a little bit of weight in the hoop um, to get the specs really dialed in, as we like to say. But uh, overall, really impressed with this wide out. Loved it from the baseline. It was easy to serve with. Um, I don't get a ton of power on my serve. I more rely on the spin and the kick, so I thought that was really great with this frame. And, you know, I'd put this racket right up there with um, kind of like a Technofiber uh, T-Fight 300 or maybe like a Babolat Pure Strike, just kind of on that slightly firmer side. So really like this overall. We strung up our rackets with some of our favorite Slinko strings, which include Hyper G and Confidential at 53 pounds. To learn more about this racket and many others, please visit us at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, and Tennis Only.